So far, we have seen the four situational leadership styles, and their adoption based on skill, will, and experience. In this lesson, we will add another element, urgency, and see the impact on the choice of leadership style. Let's go. Here's a relook at how the level of willingness, skill and experience determine which leadership style to adopt. However, in the real-life scenarios, there is usually, another factor that impacts the work style with our team members. And that is, urgency, to deliver the tasks. When the tasks need to be delivered with urgency, leaders tend to lean towards directive approach. Even if coaching or entrusting is a better fit for the team member. There is nothing wrong with modifying the approach when there is a tight deadline for a task. But it's important to seek the best possible solution in such a case. One that the team member may understand and one that won't lead to missing timelines. So, instead of straight away resorting to high directive approaches, the leader should take into account the past performance metrics like 1. Number of reviews required. That is, how many times does the task need to be reviewed till its final version? The second is how much of the total task are they able to complete in the first attempt? Which is percentage of the total task that requires no revisions? And finally, the importance of the task assigned. What is the impact of the task on the overall business objectives? Considering these three aspects will help the leader determine whether to take a more directive or a supportive approach while delegating urgent tasks. In the next lesson, we will bring all the concepts together for decision making. That is, choosing the right leadership approach based on skill, experience, will, and urgency.